Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where we are currently, well, working towards annexing the Magadan Empire, but I have some concerns about this opinion level. That recently declared war malice is going to be painful. We'll keep an eye on that, but it's going to be tough. We are also keeping an eye on the Seleucid Empire's opinion of us. Now that we have borders with them, it's going to be slightly problematic. They're going to have a civil war in 13 months, apparently. So we're probably not that concerned about the Seleucids, but that's definitely a concern. We also have a rebellion going off over here fairly soon. But what I really want to work on right now is finally getting this silk production done. So we've got these two locations here, and unfortunately, both of these are still disloyal. That is sad. But we can come up over here. We can certainly move a couple of pops in here. No, we can't. We can move one pop in here. Okay, sure. What else do we have over this direction? Eventually, we're going to be able to move four pops in. We can certainly build an additional aqueduct here. And then we can move in these pops. 143 out of 145. Okay, so that puts us at still 28 out of 30. 139 out of 145 here. So we can move a few pops in here for sure. 145. That brought us up to 7 silk, so we should now be at 29 out of 30. We are within spitting distance at this point. Yeah, that would leave it uncolonized. Mm. That's tough. Is there a location that I'm forgetting about? Uh, possibly in the Magadan Empire. That's a very distinct possibility, knowing what we know about taking this over. It's possible that we're doing this the hard way. So with that in mind, we do also have this city, this city? Being worked on, yes, this city here, being worked on to make into a metropolis. So that is the goal here. We're going to eventually move the pops in. How are we doing on this aqueduct construction? That's going to be done in a while. Okay. I would like to move some some nine extra pops in here, but the overcrowding is likely not going to be worthwhile at this moment. We do have Pubu rebelling in three months. So that's this up over here. Okay. Noted. How are our mercs doing on this road construction? Eh, they're taking a while. No shockers there. Okay. I do want to make sure... Oh, we could actually build a bunch of farming settlements. Can we build mines? We can build mines and farming settlements. Is this from locations that rebelled? I'm guessing so. We can also build a bunch of provincial legations, but let's check in on slave estates here first. Okay, that looks good. So then we'll build a bunch of provincial legations. We've got plenty of cash to do this. Beautiful. I'm actually surprised about this, but maybe I shouldn't be because of the rebellion that was down over here. But actually, this is all up over here in this new territory that we conquered from Sumpa. Yeah, I shouldn't be surprised about that at all. Okay, cool. So that will definitely be underway. We've got a lot of construction going on there. Cool. We're on our way over towards Puba at this point. Or rather, Pubu. Low food supply up over here is unsurprising. We're going to get ourselves a local import route. There we go. And Pubu have rebelled. We knew that this was coming. At this point, we are going to have these guys force march. And they're going to make their way up over to here. Interestingly, oh yeah, that's in the Magadan Empire. That would be. Okay, so it's only the one location that we need to hit. Well, we're going to make our way on up. And eventually, we will arrive. The question is, how long will it take us to get there? Yeah, go ahead and award them. Untiring Devotion sounds good for the three stability. We are losing Stab right now, and I think that's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. Our Aqueduct over here will be done eventually. Checking in here, 101 out of 100, 143 out of 145. There are no additional pops to actually bring in here at this moment. Okay. This construction will be done eventually. 108 out of 112. There are no additional pops to bring in here either, I don't think. I think both of these would be unco uncolonized. Yeah. So we piled all of that population in there. These guys are actually not 
making any progress. Fascinating. They're moving in here. Okay. Well, let's just move all the way in here, and then we'll toggle off the Force March. There we go. And let's just let this finish. I'm going to let these guys run around. I think that's completely fine. And yeah, we're paying like $37.50 for this. I'm aware that we're paying a lot for these roads. I also don't care. <laughs> it's completely and totally fine. No worries whatsoever there. So what? Are they going to come up over this way and try to attack here? They hired mercs. But to what end? What end indeed? We're no longer importing stone. Okay, sure. I don't really care about that. Commercial ventures. Cool. Apparently now we're sneezing. So that's, you know, a step in the right direction. Gotta love spring allergies, I say, as there's a bunch of snow on the ground. You know, funny story. In, in terms of American Fahrenheit degrees, it was like 83 two days ago, and we, we had a winter storm last night. <laughs> this has been a weird spring. No doubt about that. But we finished up our siege here, and we can head up this direction. I feel like the war's over, though. Right? Like, we didn't occupy this area. Uh, this is offering piece. Uh, we would want to take over this. Yeah, that would include this unoccupied space. We have the capital occupied, and that's all we need. So that looks good. Beautiful. Lose the AE. And these guys are going to head where? They're going to head up over this direction again. Let's check the supply map mode here. And we can force march them, I suppose. We can... Yeah, it would take them a while to get there if we don't force march. So let's just force march them over this way. Looks good. Cool. So that is absolutely fantastic. We do have some other disloyal provinces, but I want to check in over here for right now. We can now move additional pops into this location, which we will definitely go ahead and do. 107 there. Sadly, that did not produce an additional, uh, an additional production. So what I'm going to do is probably look to exceed one of these city populations, and then we'll move them back out is I think the way that this is going to have to go. So we'll do that here. And we'll just move some of these guys on in until this goes up to seven for production. Never mind. Oh my. <laughs> well, we'll build an additional aqueduct here just to be safe. That's going to be overcrowded for a bit. I was really hoping that that would do the trick. There is, of course, this city here. We can build an aqueduct here. We are currently overcrowded. 146 divided by 15 is what? 146 divided by 15, 9.7333k. So 15 times 0.73 repeating is 11. We need to move 11 pops in here, which I think we have enough here. Actually. That was it right there. Apparently, my, my math is very wrong. Fantastic. So that got us that completed. We no longer need to worry about this silk. Cool. So what do we need now? We need a metropolis. We need to assimilate the Tamils, which we're working on. We need the Tooth of the Buddha. We need to, in order to do that, we need to fight the Seleucids. And we need Masters of India. 650 territories. Now, I wish it said here how many we had. We have a lot but it's not 650. Down over this direction, this aqueduct is going to be done very soon. There'll be another aqueduct after that. And for the time being, we're just going to bump this up to 80. We're going to slightly exceed the population capacity. And that should, in theory, allow us to found a city. But we will have to cancel this existing construction. So we want to take this up to a metropolis, actually. Oh, it needs to be the capital? I completely missed that. 
We can only do a Metropolis in the capital. And so that means that it has to be this location. Okay. In that case, we're just going to put in one more aqueduct here and a bunch of libraries. This is going to have to become a city. Apparently, the answer is I'm very dumb. So we're going to need to move additional pops in here eventually. Yes, I am very dumb indeed. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at the Magadins here. We are at plus eight opinion. Subjected to Cassus Belli. We should not be, well, maybe that will always be there. We can offset that. Okay, no, that went away. Now it's at 34. Cool. That recently declared war is going up by two per year. Which is rough, no doubt about that. The AE will go away. But we need to hit 190. And that's going to be tough. So is there anything else that we can do here to improve their opinion of us? I mean, we can send them a gift for 25 opinion. But that doesn't get us anywhere near what we need. There's a civil war brewing here. That is this guy. We're just going to bribe him. And we just had a succession happen. We do need a religious researcher. This guy is the most qualified. Cool. That, I apologize, but that was the SpaceX stream starting up for the uh, Starship flight test that is going to be happening in, like, half an hour. <laughs> Fantastic. So we have this title that we can assign here. No problem. We'll put this guy in. The head of the Naga family just died. Okay. And Song might rebel in 16 months. This is not all that relevant, to be honest. Okay, cool. So we are working on this location. We will have to move pops in here and we can preemptively move a few of them in. I'm going to move a bunch out of here because we are overcrowded or we were overcrowded. We no longer are. 20 legitimacy. Okay, gross. Sure. So how long on this city? Barbarians up over here. Okay. Um, that's slightly awkward for us. I guess we can hire some mercs like these guys. We'll put them onto unit reorg. The barbs are going to head down over here, and we'll just move our way over. They're only a 2k stack, right? And they're not going to get too much done here. They'll get some pop destruction there. Actually, only civilization value. They didn't kill any pops. I like it. So we're going to chill here, and they're currently at 1k. Would we end up winning this? We'd get there in 19 October. That seems worthwhile. They're actually coming in and attacking us right now. They get here on 11 October. Seems fine. We're going to go off of Unit Reorg. I think we have sufficient morale to defeat these guys. Oh yeah, definitely. So the Barbarians are out of here. And we no longer need these mercs. So we can disband them. Fantastic. So that's all good. How long on that city though? 400 days on that one. Yikes. I definitely should have noticed that it requires a capital province. We could certainly do a, a free province investment here, giving us either an extra building slot or pop cap. And I think pop cap is actually the way to go. So we're going to get that started. Cool. So this will be done in about a year. Okay, how are we doing on our road construction up here? It's still taking some time. No major issues there. Song and Vanga, huh? This doesn't look that bad to me. I think this will be okay. We had a breakthrough. Cool. So we got a free innovation. And we were working on happiness in, like, the oratory and religious trees. Yeah, population growth isn't terrible. Alternatively... National citizen happiness. Indeed. There's not a lot here that I'm finding that's just absolutely tremendous. 
That said, Found City cost modifier. So it's, it's okay. Pop conversion speed, integrated culture, happiness, and pop conversion speed, and pop conversion speed. Making our way down this way would not be bad. Let's go ahead and grab Grand Temples. Excellent. So missions-wise, there's really only the three, well, four things that we're working on. Island Paradise, we need to get that Metropolis. Assimilating the Tamils, that is being worked on. And to that end, I want to double check our administration, make sure that this is going correctly. These guys should be set up to be on cultural assimilation and automatic trade can be enabled. Culturally assimilate here. Cultural. And we do have to make sure that we have enough political influence. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. But I'm going to go ahead and spend this down a little. And otherwise that should be it. Yes. So we're at 85. We don't quite have enough to make this into a metropolis, but it's also not a city yet and won't be for 220 days. So we should have enough time to get our political influence back up. We're going to have to move Pops in here anyway, so that should be fine. No real problem there, but we're going to work entirely internally here. I'm not making any plans to attack the Seleucids at this moment. Annexation of the Magadans will be our next big move, although our stability is pretty low right now. I would like to do a Divine Sacrifice, but alas, that's not going to be a thing. We need that political influence for other things. Actually, we do care about the Magadan Empire's opinion here. 484 gold for 20 opinion sounds amazing. Do it. That puts us at 70. We're going to go up by another 54, or rather another 46. Okay. This instantly dropped to 19. Not a big fan of that, but and that's because it's fractional, I think. Cool. So that should be reasonably fine. We're at 72 opinion. 72 opinion. That is just not very high. 10 political influence for 6 stability. We really do need the stability. I'm going to take it, and we're going to do state religion happiness here. So that'll do for now, and we're going to need that stability to found a metropolis over here, but we've got a little bit of time. We need to get that political influence back up, right? No doubt about that. But let's get this territory activity done here, and then we can start working on expanding this city. The first thing that we're going to need to do is build a bunch of aqueducts. No way around that one, I'm afraid. Low food supply up over there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So this has become a city. We now have 31 out of 57. We need to work on, let's see here. This is not actually going to be plus four each. It's gonna be a little bit more than that. So we're at 57 right now. We need to get to 80. So this would put us in theory at 61, 65, 69, nice, 73. And that would put us at 77. Now, the fractional increases should get us at least to 80 there. Cool. So we'll get that done for the time being. We're going to need to move additional pops in here. And we would like to move them from over here. And we're going to take this up to the cap for the moment. There we go. Cool. And we'll work on this becoming a metropolis eventually. Population is greater or equal to 80, and we can afford... Yeah, we can definitely afford this once we get the population equal to 80. So we're building five aqueducts here. That will take some time, but that seems reasonably okay. Cool. We're no longer importing livestock. So we've got three months until these guys rebel. Noted. We're going to head up there. And will these guys go with them? It'd be a little awkward if they did, but we can just hire mercs for that, I feel like. It should be okay. We do need a new oratory researcher. That will be this guy. Cool. So we'll get into position for this rebellion. Two months on that. Looks fine. And this aqueduct is basically all we're waiting on here. 
I would really like to get this done a little bit faster, but it is what it is. Hmm. 18 gold for six stability is amazing. Do it. Absolutely amazing. So these guys are leading a war of independence. These did not rebel. Okay. Sounds good. No problem here. We're going to win this extraordinarily easily. Hmm. He'll quiet down in time, hopefully. Okay, how are we doing on that Makadin opinion? We're at 101, 102. Hmm. So we can get another 34. What other options would we have here? I don't believe we actually have a claim. It's pretty much just that recently declared war penalty there. That's going to be very hard to overcome. We may just have to wait. It, it is ticking down by two points per year. So that would mean that it's going to take like 34 years. And that's a while. We do have a military tradition here. I would like to grab... Mercenary army maintenance reduction is actually pretty good. We've been using a lot of mercs. So that sounds good. This siege will be complete in the eventual times. 14%. So fingers crossed on that one. Have we finished up our aqueduct down over here? Not quite yet. And Vongo would be in 60 months. Okay, sure. So this war is obviously over, right? Like, it's super over. We're going to annex them. There we go. And lose half a point of aggressive expansion. Beautiful. So our AE is at 31.73. And our AE is a malice here. No doubt about that. Minus six for aggressive expansion. But it's mostly that recently declared war. That's what we need to wait on. Okay. So this aqueduct will be done here fairly soon. But it's going to take a while to get all of these aqueducts done. We can certainly move a couple of pops in here, but I don't think there's much of a point at this moment. Assimilating the Tamils is something that is just naturally happening. The Tooth of the Buddha is something that we're going to have to actively work on. So that is currently housed where? He's doing a fine job, I'm sure. Where is this currently housed at? It's in Sauvira. Okay, so that's this state here. So we'd have to push into the Seleucids a little ways to get that. It's not super far into the Seleucids, but we would have to push in there. Noted. Well, this seems reasonably fine. We're going to get these guys drilling. Cool. This aqueduct will be done very, very shortly. 20 days on them. So I would definitely like to start moving a few pops in here. We can move like three. There we go. And two additional. Okay, cool. So we're now at 63. Of course, we need to bring this up by quite a lot of pops. And I don't think having this be a research city makes any amount of sense whatsoever. Cloth production? We could do that. I don't think we need additional manpower. I really don't. So we could go for the cloth production. Just building a foundry, three mills, and then a bunch of tax offices beyond that. Something like this. It's a potential option. At any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, and the uh, SpaceX stream has started. So I'm going to go watch the Starship launch, which if you're watching this when it goes live, or at any other time... I'm sorry, you've missed it, but here we are. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James Shadowwolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogan, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.